In the latter part of the 17th century, the conquering hordes of Malik, Bay of Tunis, swept across northern Africa. City after city fell before the relentless attack. Soon, Malik's vast armies were hammering at the very gates of the kingdom of Mizora, while his fleet moved in to control the harbor. Mizorata's walls were breached after a long siege, and the defenders of the city found themselves fighting in the very streets, trying desperately to prevent the capture of Princess Tarzan, ruler of Mizorata. defeat was not too long in coming, for some of Malik's soldiers had managed to open the palace gates. The house-to-house -house battle ended when every official building in the city, except the palace, was under control of Malik's officers. When the vast armies of Malik Bay of Tunis made their triumphant entry into the city, Malik believed Princess Karjan already a prisoner. should never be too difficult. You have plans for the princess? I hear she is very beautiful. Very definite plans, General Tumiti. Her subjects are too loyal. The beautiful princess must die. Come. Malik has entered the city. Fleet has control of the harbor. Here are some men's clothing for you and the princess. Order a complete surrender, Captain. Risk no more lives. Miserata must fight another day. Now, is everything arranged as planned? Yes, Your Highness. The horses are already at the back gate. Good. Then come along sooner. We must princess Karjana. Yes? I've served the throne of Miserata these many years. Please let me escort you to Tripoli. Thank you, Captain Moline. But what I must do in Tripoli, I can do better alone. Come on, sir. Miserata's dignitaries came out of the palace to surrender and beg mercy. As captain of the royal palace guard, I surrender Miserata to the victor, Malek Beatonis. Surrender from a captain? Where is the Princess Karjan? The princess has left the city. You hear that, Tomiti? Where were the guards? Uh, she can't have gone far, Your Excellency. Our spies would have reported it. So long as Princess Karjan lives, she's a menace. Wherever she is, find her. She must not live. Hang him in the public square. Let everyone see the reward for loyalty to the Princess Karjan. Princess Karjan and Sonal, her handmaiden, made good their escape from Miserata. In a wild ride across the open, treacherous countryside, they headed for the city of Tripoli, the one remaining seaport not under Malik's flag. Even Malik wanted no part of this place, for it was a stronghold of the notorious pirates of Tripoli. I seek a man named Adrian Gadrian. Gadrian? You seek death, stranger. 
Where is he to be found? In the air, on the rooftops, in the marketplace. Gadrian is Tripoli. Tell us where, old man. You waste precious time. My eyes see much, and my stomach needs much food. <laughs> my stomach is great, sir, noble one. One can never be sure that the inn of the golden feather. All right, Kepa. You'll never get a ring on my finger, so see if you can get one on my leg. <laughs> Go ahead, Kepa. This might be the last look you'll have of that delightful leg. <laughs> Take me from Gabriel, eh? <laughs> this will teach you. Well, uh, you so sure he won't miss? A target like that, I could find in the dark. <laughs> Here's a man who knows how to appreciate a fine leg. You won the toss, you choose the weapon. The knife of the double blade. A double blade it is. Yeah. <laughs> You're an idiot, Kappa. You have grown too big for this world. Then Gadrian will send him to another. Ready? I've been ready for a long time. Have at it, messieurs. I'm as frightened as you are, sir. But these thieves and murderers are our only chance. Princess, please. Let's go now. Talk to a man called Adriel Gadrian. You do, eh? Well, yeah, wash the blood off. And why do you want to talk to Adriel Gadrian, boy? <laughs> Girl! <laughs> I'd rather discuss that with Gadrian himself. Is he here? If he were, he would have no ears for anything you have to say. Then perhaps a half a million dinars in gold would buy him some ears. <laughs> It's large talk for such a small girl. Your name? I am Princess Kajan of Misurata. Princess! <laughs> <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, where are your manners? Have you forgotten how to greet a princess? Bow down on your knees to her highness. Welcome to Tripoli, Princess Kajan. Thank you. Thank you for your gracious greeting. <laughs> I demand that you take me to Gadrian immediately. I made it you here. Take it to Gadrian. <laughs> Is this another one of your jokes? You are the joker. These men know I'm Gadrian, but who knows you are a princess? <laughs> Surely some of you recognize me. Haven't any of you been to Miserata? No, never. Who goes to Miserata? But there's been a war. If the fools in the palaces wish to kill each other off, good riddance. I'd heard that Adriel Gadrian was the greatest sea captain in the entire Mediterranean. He is. But one such as you with no brain cannot be the man. Throw her out, Gadrian. 
Why should we even bother to listen to her? I want to find out more about her gold. Is there a quiet place we can talk? Oh, very quiet. You're not going to take her upstairs. For half a million dinars in gold, I'll take anybody upstairs. <laughs> You stay here, little one. If you've had a little more wine, you'll think you're back in the palace. Hey, Craig Leg, more rum. Someday I'll kill him, I swear it. Calm yourself, Cherie. He has played enough courts for one evening. Princess, you have your way. We are alone at last. Keep your hands off me, you filthy pirate. Pirate, yes. In Tripoli, piracy is an honorable profession. But filthy? Hi, woman, you offend me. Ever since I discovered that water can be used for other pleasures than sailing ships on, I've bathed every morning. I'm the cleanest man in Tripoli, perhaps in the whole world. Do you or do you not want to hear about the gold? Certainly. Tell me about it while I take another bath just for you. Well, then I'll wait for you downstairs. Oh, no, princess. Please don't take another bath. I must, if a woman has called me filthy. But I didn't mean it that way. It just goes with pirate. Filthy pirate. You know, all kinds of women have come to see me using silly excuses just like yours. And all of them knew what they wanted. But you apparently don't. So what am I supposed to do with you? With me, nothing. But if you'll only believe that I'm Princess Carjan... Oh! The water is cold. Go on. I can make you and your pirates very rich. Ah, uh, hand me the soap. Doesn't half a million dinars in gold mean more to you than soap? Not when a woman has called me filthy. The soap, please. Thank you. Hurry, will you please? Temper, woman, temper. If you're in such a hurry, why don't you come and help me scrub my back? You won't? All right, princess. Tell me about the gold. You. We see two women who rode through this gate a short while ago. Two women? I saw two youths, just boys, that is all. You know where they went? My eyes see much. My stomach needs much food. My stomach is grateful. The ones you seek have gone to the end of the golden feather. Come on, girl, drink up. This won't hurt you. Why, in Tripoli, we wean babies on rum. We've met Moiselle. We are all butter babies. But I, I never tasted anything but wine. At your age? Wine? Why, do you know how they make this stuff? Silly farmhands walk around on the grapes in their bare feet. Feet are all right when you know they belong to. <laughs> drink up, Mademoiselle. Another sip and you'll be able to slit a man's throat from ear to ear as good as any of us. The pirate chief has taken the princess to the second floor. The stairs at the rear. Good. Mm. This must be very unhealthy. It makes me feel so very good. <laughs> and it burns. That's the fire of life. Drink up. Then you expect my pirates and my ship? To attack Miserata, defeat Malik, put you back on the throne just for gold. You fought for less before. Less than what? Well, only tonight weren't you fighting over a woman? A woman is less important to you than gold? The only thing that's important to me is the throne of Miserata. Of course, I keep forgetting. You're not a woman, you're a princess. Nah. There's nothing natural about that. Hand me a towel. I will not. Very well, I shall get it myself. No! All right, I'll hand it to you. Oh, you're completely dressed. Why didn't you invite us? The room was crowded as it was. 
Oh, this uh, one still breathes. Uh, I can cure him of that fast. Wait. Speak fast, Pete. Why did you want to kill a girl? Mercy. We were obeying orders. Whose orders? His Excellency, Malik, Bey of Tunis. Why did he want the girl killed? She, she is Karjan, Princess of Mizurata. And the one downstairs I filled with rum. I, she'll never be the same. Now get her up here to attend the princess and take those two roaches out. So you are a princess. No wonder you don't know how to kiss. You call that a kiss? Well, what is your answer? Are you going to help me defeat Malik or not? Gold is gold. My ships will attack Mizorata in three days. Thank you. Should I kiss it or shake it? As you choose. A uh, problem. Uh, you're used to giving orders. Yes, of course. And I'm not used to taking orders. So? What do you propose? Well, somebody has to be in command. Suppose I want you to do I it. shall take no orders from a woman. But, uh, do you know what this is? Hmm. The whistle. Do you know how to use it? Of course. Well, then, if you ever really have to order me... You mean... Uh... Just blow. Alex hired assassin, having escaped death in Tripoli, started back immediately for Miserat. There he was to tell what he had learned of the plans of Gadrian and Princess Karjan. Positive, the man was Gadrin himself? Yes, Excellency. If Kajan buys the services of the pirate fleet, we're in trouble. We're not prepared to fight another war now. There won't be another war. Without ships, Gadrin will be helpless. But he has many ships, all of them heavily armed. How do you intend to... With a surprise attack, my brilliant general. We can sink every pirate vessel in the harbor of Tripoli before they have a chance to weigh anchor. Splendid. The very boldness of your plan assures success. Order our ships to sail tonight. By dawn, our entire fleet can be off the coast of Tripoli. Himself must be coming. I thought he was on our side. A lot of supplies are already aboard. Let's get them out. Someone attacking Tripoli? No one ever has before. So, oh, Princess Wench, you come to Tripoli, fill my Gadrian's head with nonsense about gold, then when he is off guard, you have your fleet attack him. My fleet? The ships fly the flag of Miserata. They fly the flag of Miserata? They must be Malik's ships. Ha. When Gadrian learns the truth, he'll slit your gullet. And if he doesn't, I will. You should never have smiled at that pirate. I couldn't help it. Leader of the beach defends us, our man. Aye. You'll get the supplies off the ship. Aye. We'll handle the fort. First, we'll fire at their ships and supplies.
push those supplies off. Get the ammunition off. Hurry. Hurry, man, hurry. Hurry, come on, hurry. Step by the there. Step by the to their fort. Prepare to fire. You get on that cannon over there. Come on, Powell, and bring up those gates. Cannoneers, start training your cannon. Ready? until she came here and us caught like a bunch of squalling brats with our fingers stuck in the jam trapped without a chance to use our ships to fight back every one of our fine vessels burned her at the bottom of the harbor and whose fault is it hers princess wench Kajan isn't to blame for this you're a fool watch your tongue Ria. she would have had to be out of her mind to stay if she knew what was going to happen would she Maybe she and this Malik planned it together. Maybe he's even her lover. Of course, that's why he sent assassins to kill her. Malik is clever. He isn't taken in by a pretty face and a pretty leg. We'd all be better off if she were dead. Thank you. But wouldn't it be better if I remain alive until Gadrian gets his gold? I'm for that. I'm not. This is none of your affair, dear. I'll make it my affair. Get out. Get out quickly. In a way, she's right. Malik only attacked Tripoli because I came here for your help. Well, you might as well leave. Without ships, we're of no use to you. But there's a way you can get new ships. Huh? We'll listen to anything. The treasure in the palace at Misurata. The royal jewels. The royal jewels? Yes. With them, you can buy fighting ships in either Italy or Spain. Then we can attack Misurata, take the palace, and get the whole treasure. 
Give me two good men and I'll show them how to steal the jewels. Well, there are only two good men in Tripoli, Gatrian and me. We'll get your little highness in and out of Miserata safe enough. You can't take a chance on going back to Miserata. There's no other way to get the jewels. Well, if we can risk our necks, she can risk hers. We, she wants your throne and we want gold. Everybody works together. What do you mean, you, we can't get the jewels without you? I have it all worked out on paper. Would you and Hamid come upstairs with me? Why not? It's your neck. Now, this is the location of the vault. It's in a huge cavern beneath the palace. The treasure's stored there underwater. That's very clever. A trained slave, a diver named Ali Koba, knows the position and content of each chest in the vault. Whatever the palace needs, Ali Koba gets. How do we know he'll help us? He'll help me. There's another friend in Miserata, a merchant named Abu Tala. Good. He can get us fresh horses for our return to Tripoli. But uh, won't there be guards around the palace? Yes, we'll have to prevent them from sounding the alarm. A job for Gentle Mary. Gentle Mary? Who is she? His best friend. And uh, more silent than any female could be. Oh. You pirates make an art of killing, don't you? End of living. You'll find out. Hamid. So dare come back now. These are good friends, Abu Tala. Gadrian and Hamid. Gadrian, the pirate? We need three fresh horses. Can you get them for us? Yes, yes, I have a brother. No time to explain. Get them ready. Shall be done. Gentle Mary? Sit and wait. Till I get into position.
Mr. Bolt. This is Ali Coban's cell. It's open. Slaves are kept in chains. This isn't Ali Coban. Where is he? The diver for the treasure vault. Ali Coban was a stupid traitor. He's dead. I'm the diver now. Get up. Break him loose, Hamid. This chain doesn't break, my friend. Your arm will. Move. Turn the wheel. It'll raise the trap door. You expect her out the hold. You can't think much of your own eyes. As soon as he will find you. Down! Can he swim with this weight? He'd better. You know which chest contains the royal jewels? It used to be a gold one, about this size. But Malik may have changed things. I know which one it is. Bring it up. Come and get your own treasure. I'm not risking my life to help you. Maddie? Never hit him from this angle. Aha! This time I'm taking the bath.
want? Ami, put the jewels in your pocket. escape with the princess after them. Take this man to the dungeon. I want to find out what the princess was doing here. Revive this man. At once, General Zemiri. His Excellency wants some information. Then His Excellency shall have it. Absolutely nothing. No matter what I do to him, all he does is call us the vilest of names. And probably all of them true. Where is he? Chained unconscious. Find out what I want to know, Torture Master, or you'll end up in one of your own devices. See to it, Tomini. I told you I'm not going back without Gadrian. Gadrian's dead. And I'm staying here until I find out whether he's dead or alive. If he's alive, Malek will take him to the torture chamber. That's right. Malek would take him to the torture chamber. How late is it? Oh, I'd say it lacks about an hour to dawn. That as soon as the peddlers have taken their place for the day in the market square, we're going into the palace. It sounds fine, but how? There's a tavern the guards go to buy food and drink. You're going to visit that tavern first, Hamid. Come on, come on. Not so fast. These slaves just arrived by caravan for Malik. Stand aside. We were told of no slaves. Look, Flea. His Excellency will have you drawn and quartered if he doesn't get these slaves while they're still fresh. They look like they'll keep for a while. Yeah, you have a good eye, my friend. Hamid and I will go alone from here. Mingle with the peddlers and get out when they do. I'm unconscious again. Pirates are no better than women. You're dead. Just half dead. I swallowed a bucket of water. What did you do? Join the, the guards just for the day. Hey, up there. The grounds are crowded with peddlers. Now's our chance to get out.
We'll stay around here someplace until we are safe. Silly, even the finest people bundle in the cold. Bundle? Mm-hmm. You don't like us, do you? Can anyone like piracy? I do. I love it. I've never known anything else. You mean you wouldn't change your life even if you could? It's too late to reform me. Triple is the only place in the world I can live without having my head chopped off. Why haven't you ever thought of living some better way? Yes, I've given the matter some thought. You know, I never had enough clothes, and I always wanted to dress so that I'd catch the eye of every beautiful woman. Also, I always wanted a sword with a gold hilt. Are these the things you want most? Well, I could do with a coach, as fine as any belonging to the palace. In fact, I wouldn't mind having a palace. I see. A palace with enough rooms for all the beautiful women who admire your fine clothes and gold sword and coach. Well, that uh, might be an interesting arrangement, but uh, I don't think my wife would like it. Wife? You're not married? <laughs> no, not yet. Good. I mean, I, I didn't think you were. Are you warm now? Yes, thank you. I'm warm now. Well, then, good night and sleep well. treasure, lads. Enough to buy the finest fighting ships in the whole blasted world. Hey! Hey! The sooner we start buying, the better I'll feel. A pirate is not a pirate without a deck under his feet. <laughs> you made your look at the Royal Jewels. Now listen. A merchantman is leaving the island of Gerba tomorrow bound for Italy. Since it is dangerous for all of us to set foot in foreign countries, only Hamid and I are going to accompany the princess. Why take a woman with you when a man that can fight might do you more good in case there's trouble? The only way we can get ships quickly is through a request from a member of the royal family. When Karjan buys the ships from the king, Hamid and I will become official members of her party. I am to be Grand Vizier, me! <laughs> the toast, messieurs. Mavis red stones match Malik's red face when he looks into the guns of our new navy. Hey! First, the gold. His Excellency doesn't have to cheat such a one as you. <laughs> Malik would cheat his own grandmother. Your information. Gabriel brought this on himself. Watch for a ship that will be bound for Italy. The Princess, Gadrian, and Hammond are going to buy new ships. You're sure? I'd be here now if I weren't. Is there anything else? Nothing. Very well. There's only one of us who knows our little secret, eh? You are sure your information is correct? I'm certain the information is correct, Excellency. 
The one who supplied it was present at the meeting of the pirates. So the princess and Gadrin are to be aboard the vessel bound for Italy. Yes, Excellency. You shall be nobly rewarded. Shall I dispatch our fleet at once? Immediately. The ships are to sail in pairs and uh, have them fly the flag of Misurata. They are to cover every inch between Italy and Gerba until Carjan's boat is overtaken and she is captured alive. Alive? Alive. Her trial will prove to everyone I'm a man of justice, but her execution will put an end to Carjan as a threat. But what about Gadrian? Have them bring me back his head. Still asleep? Yes, the little one must have been very tired. You must be tired too, looking through that thing. Here, let me get cross eyed for a while. Hey, <clears throat> I must really be getting cross eyed. Look. Two ships. And I'm not really cross eyed after all. Captain. Si, signore. Raise all canvas. Oh, no, signore. The ship, she lies too low in the water. Take a look. Those two ships are enemies. This tub will lie so low, you'll never see her again. Are they chasing us? Do as I told you, and you'll find out. Si, signore, si, signore. Hey, more, more sail, more canvas. Palermo, pa presto, subito. Andiamo, andiamo, presto. There is no doubt now we are being followed. And by morning they should be on us. But who are they? And what do they want? Perhaps you should know who your passenger in the cabin below is. Who, the girl? She is Princess Karjan. Princess Ka On my ship? You have the honor, my friend. Oh, such an honor. I could do without it, signore. The princess is not to be told about the danger. You have plenty of ammunition aboard? Oh, this is a cargo vessel. A few cannons have never been used. Then you'd better start cleaning them. Fight them back with this ship. Oh, per l'amor di Dio. Signore, look, this is a madness. We haven't got no chance. Calm down, Captain. There's nothing to worry about now. Wait till the morning. Sleeping all day. Haven't slept so well in years. Must be the sea air. Has it helped your appetite too? The best way to find out is to invite me to dinner. Consider yourself invited, Princess. What would you care to have? Oh, about eight courses and three kinds of wine. I see. Well, you won't die on an empty stomach. How can you even think about death on a night like this? Clear, lots of stars, moonlight. Perfect setting for a funeral. Rhea died on a night like this. You've been thinking about Rhea? Yes, I believe. I know now why she was killed. Oh? A Tunisian gold piece was found in her hand. And two of Malik's warships are following us now. Look. Will we get to Italy before they reach us? No. I think they'll catch up with us shortly after dawn. I see. Well? Are you going to scream, cry, faint? Perhaps. But not yet. I didn't really think you would. It's the first nice thing you said to me. Say some more. Well, I, I think... I I've... Oh, this is silly. I'm a pirate, not a poet. Gosh. Nothing must happen to you tomorrow. I don't want you to fight. 
I don't want any more people killed because of me. I've lost and that's that. Surrender to Malik's ships in the morning. Are those orders? Yes, those are orders. You forget. I don't take orders from a woman. Not even the woman I love. Keep a sharp eye! Only one ship moving in the firing position. The other standing by. Slack off those bunt lines. Do you want to put an end to this bloodshed? Si, signora, but it's the man again, Rian. Pay blood. no more attention to him. I will tell you what to do. Tie them up. Cease fire. Italian cargo vessel was overtaken and boarded by the attackers. Princess Karshan was made prisoner. When Malik's vessels had gone, Gadrian and Hamid were released by the Italian crew. I ought to hang you for this. Her Highness's orders were to overpower you, hide you, and raise the flag of surrender. How did you dare obey her orders? You should be grateful, Signore. The princess, she hides you well. They look for you in every corner over the ship. She's a nice little woman. Yes, besides Her Highness, they took a packet filled with jewels. Well, this ship is in no condition to reach Italy. Turn her back! We are sailing for Tripoli. <laughs> to welcome you on your return to the palace. Unfortunately, I cannot offer you the same accommodations you once enjoyed. Don't apologize, Malik. As long as you are in the palace, any accommodations you'd offer me would not be welcome. Put her in a cell.
Gentlemen, gentlemen, please wake up. You must listen. Go away, old man. Let me sleep. Then tell me why I could find Gadrian. Gadrian? What do you want him for? I come from Mr. My name is Abu Tala. The friend of the princess? Yes, yes. Something has happened. She's been captured by Malik. You lie, monsieur. Karzan and Gadrian are on a boat bound for Italy. No, I tell you, she's been captured. I saw it with my own eyes. And Gadrian's dead. Otherwise, Malik couldn't have taken her. Or the jewels. It is the end of everything, my friends. For years, I have seen Gadrian play with death as if it were a toy. Now... What now? Wait a minute. It's the Italian merchant man. You're right. And you're sure, Abu Tala, that Princess Kajan is still alive? She was last night. That's all I know. You must try to help her. If uh, 200 of our men would get into Mizorata without being noticed, hide 200 men. They might come in as a caravan drivers. Small caravan carrying oil and wine would not be noticed. I have friends among the merchants who would watch for the cargoes. It might be done. But we need ships, Gedrian. We could not take the city without controlling the harbor. We'll use our fleet. Fleet? What fleet? The Italian merchant man. One ship and a cargo vessel at that? You must be wounded in the head, too. Damn it. You take charge of the men who get into Mizurata. Choose vantage points and surround the palace. And as for the one ship, I think I have an idea. Then you confess, Princess, that you were involved in conspiracy against the throne. I confess to nothing. You deny you were in league with robbers and assassins under the leadership of Gadrian? I was in league with men who were willing to fight against tyranny. Because of your confession, it is my decision that you be executed when all of Miserata can see. At noon tomorrow. Quiet! Stand back! You'll see the execution soon enough! trouble from the people, Tomiti. You see, they are nothing but sheep, frightened sheep. Excellency, a ship is drifting in. She flies the plague flag. Plague? Dead men lay on her deck. She moves with the current straight toward our docks. Fire our cannon on her. Sink her. The men are afraid, sir. They're deserting their posts. Order the palace guard to man the cannon. We have passed their fleet. Good. The ship's cannon can't fire at us now without hitting the city. Those 
cannons. Hurry! Hurry! Sink that ship! Faster on those cannons! Ready on number one cannon, sir. Show batteries. An effective way of stopping an epidemic. Fire! Stay still. Only a hundred meters more. meters more. Get the muskets. You may have to scale a palace walls. Bring ropes and grappling hooks. Aye, aye. The men on that ship are alive. They're raiding the docks. We are being attacked by one ship? Yes, Excellency. That plague flag was a trick. Send reinforcements, as many as necessary. Yes, sir. And see that all entrances to the palace grounds are closed. Yes. Horsemen can't get through the gates. We don't have enough provisions for a siege. Then we must leave before the palace grounds are surrounded, and Princess Cargan will be our guarantee of safety. Mighty healthy to me. How did it go? They don't like us. Close the palace gates at our faces. I will open them. Yes. So simple poof, like that? Poof it is. Put plenty of cannon powder into one of those carts. Light a fuse, and roll the cart to the gates, and poof. Release the princess from herself. in the barracks. Take them prisoner. Come with me.
worthy men of Tripoli who've served our cause so well. I bestow all the land and gold that you need to sustain you for as long as you live. Yay! And for you, Gadrian, anything you wish for in Miserata is yours. I wish for nothing, Your Highness. You've more than kept your bargain. If you should ever need me, I shall be in Tripoli. <laughs>